Hi, this is Mike Evans, and in this video we'll walk through the contract first development capability for web services that's provided by the My Eclipse for Spring product. We'll focus on three areas. First we'll import the WSDL and take a look at what's generated. Then we'll actually implement uh, some simple business logic based on the service contract of one of the methods, and then we'll test that method through Web Service Explorer. So we'll start with creating a simple web project. We'll call it Hello World. And now that we have that project, we'll go ahead and import the WSDL. We use a WSDL from the Apache project. And next we'll add the uh, target location for all the generated code. The next screen we've seen before, uh, which is where the uh, files go, uh, what the libraries are, and whether we want to use the Spring IDE. So we'll take the defaults for that, and then we'll finish. So taking a quick look at what's generated, we have three packages. And the first package contains the WSDL entities that were identified by the WSDL uh, using the target namespace as the name of the package. The second package is where we're going to implement the business logic based on the methods that are exposed. So you'll see a, a service uh, interface file, service implementation file, and even a tester file. And we see the three methods that are being exposed by this service. And the final package is the JAXWS infrastructure. So we have the client code with the utility classes to actually call the service. And we have the service endpoint interface, which is what we need to implement, uh, what we need to access. So now that we have our generated code and our stub to actually uh, provide our implementation, we'll go ahead and uh, take out the comments for uh, our to-do and add some simple code. So I've added some simple code here, which will take in a request type. It's looking for hello. If it's hello, it's going to return greeting of a hello. Otherwise, it'll return greeting of goodbye. So now that I've imported the WSDL and generated the code that I needed, and then added my implementation code, I'm actually ready to uh, run, de deploy, and test this application. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So I have the application deployed. And what I'll do is go back to my generated folder and open up my greeter endpoint, which is the access into my web service, and open up the JAXWS panel and simply, simply invoke the Open Web Service Explorer hotlink from here. This will open up the Web Service Explorer for me. So in Web Service Explorer, what we can see are the three methods that are available to us. And we'll go ahead and test out the uh, greet me, which is the one that we implemented. And we'll pass in hello with capital. And we'll see that we return back uh, our response string of hello. And if we put anything else in there and hit go, we'll see that we get goodbye coming back. So to recap, we'll see that we imported the WSDL. And when we did that and walked through the wizard, we got the WSDL entities available to us, which gave us the request and the response uh, Java beans that we were expecting. Then we also got our shells for our implementation code, which we went ahead and implemented the greet me functionality. And we also received the uh, JAXWS infrastructure, which gave us access to the web service uh, through our implemented code. So that's the video for the uh, contract first development. We also have additional educational material uh, and blogs and forums uh, for all the capabilities. And the video that I just walked you through, we have a tutorial. So you can take it through step by step to see how it's done. Uh, and also you can view other uh, capabilities through our YouTube site, My Eclipse for Spring. Thank you.